Let's go back over here. We're going to look at some of the stuff on Reddit, okay? A lot of you guys have had comments on this. Oh, it's all coming together. What's this? Uh... Yeah, I mean, like, I don't, I don't know. And, uh, what, what's this? Oh my God. What the fuck? So this literally just came out. This was like a, a, a tweet. Um, several motorcycle officers rushed to the front of Johnny Depp Amber Heard courthouse, jumped off their bike and ran inside. No word on what this is about. Somebody is monitoring this. That's fucking crazy. Um, Ah, uh, man, I, I'm trying to think, like, what, what, what do I think this could be? What do I think it is? I have no idea. Like, as I said, they, they said there that both of them left. Watch via pass feed. Uh, heard Amber probably went apeshit crazy. It seems like that's not the case. Uh, let me go back over here and just look. I mean, I guess we'll wait and see what they say. I mean, if they, uh, uh, if they bring it up or if they say anything else, we'll find out. Uh, that was 18 minutes ago, too. And thanks everyone involved. Oh, I, I think that's probably just a yeah. Okay, never mind. And uh, yeah, uh, responding to the Amber Alert, uh, it could have been anything, right? Like for example, uh, somebody could have called in a false, uh, you know, a false alarm or something crazy like that. Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like that's probably not what happened, but it just seems odd. Yeah, it certainly fucking seems odd. There was a yeah. What's this here? Uh, I'll go back and I'll figure out the rest of this stuff. It's an Amber Alert? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, I got it. Guys, I got it. All right? That's a good meme, okay? Now, let's move on past that one, all right? Yo. Amber's Yo. Amber Alert, dude. God damn it. Like, Amber Alert? Oh, yeah, because it's the same name. Hey, you get it, though? <laughs> yeah. You get it? Now that you put it like that, that is actually pretty funny. Holy shit. Yeah, that's a good one. Holy fuck. Yeah, that was a good one. You guys are smart. Yeah. <laughs> Start alert. Oh, that's even better, man. Oh, dude. Uh, the boys know what's up. Wait, was this actually, like... God damn. Look at that. He's like, yeah, they know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, where's the rest of this? Uh, I'm not sitting here in the courtroom laughing, making snide jokes, and also her laughing. Yep, there it is. Amber Heard's lies debunked. I was scared for my wife. Listen, bro. Uh, bro, it's just... Like... God, it, I mean, it's just... It's obviously bullshit. Everybody fucking knows it. She's lying. Yeah, that's all there is to it. What's happening now? I don't know. There is some police scare. Nobody knows why. Uh, she does not attack. She does not prosecute. She butchers. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Let me see here. Uh, I'm going to miss trial screens. We're going to watch them beginning on YouTube. Oh, yeah. I, well, the, the best thing. So I was talking to somebody about this. And they're like, man, you know, I, I guess, you, you know, like, you know, you have to look for, like, other content when you finish. And it's like, not really. It's like... You never, if you cover drama, you never run out of content because people are fucking stupid and they're always going to be fucking stupid. There's always going to be something new. There's always going to be some new thing, some fucking crazy shit that happens. And yeah, I just, you're just literally never going to run out of time. Uh, let's see. Check the Twitter again. Uh, sure. I'll, I'll look at it again. Let me go ahead and re refresh it. Uh, I don't think there's really too much going on, but I'll just double check. Just alpacas and pirate hats. <laughs> false alarm, guys. It's okay. No, yeah, false alarm. Yep, uh, alpacas and pirate hats. Okay. As we go to the modern day philosopher, uh, what is this? Um, let's see here. Uh, modern day Diogenes. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, sure. I've, I've heard that 500 fucking times. Okay. Uh, as we need to write philosophy, it should be famous in the future. I, I don't think that I am much of a philosopher. I am just a person who talks about things on the internet. That That's pretty much about it. Yeah, it, it's not that hard. That's how suicidal thoughts looks depressed all the time on a second stream. Is it model for happiness? Well, I, I think that, yeah, uh, of course, right? I mean, yeah, I, I think that there are a lot of people who suppress the way that they feel about things, and, and I think they just don't share it. For me, I just tell people however I feel, and that's about it. Yeah, 
Uh, that's about all it comes down to. And I think it's pretty simple and it's pretty fucking easy. Uh, let me see here. A uh, lawyer following the case uh, said it doesn't seem like a serious disturbance. He's been in a courtroom before. Yeah, I know. Okay, uh, let's see here. Amber, Amber, T oh God. <laughs> Amber Turd, okay. Uh, how it feels losing the case. Yeah, she doesn't like that at all. I'm not surprised there. Okay, uh, I could say the same thing about Amber Heard as a client for you. That guy was just like, he loved it, man. Holy shit. Okay. Amber Heard fans and uh, destroying Amber's live logic and evidence. Yeah, of course. Japanese man sends $15,000 on dog costume to fulfill light, long dream and transforming into an animal. I'm going to be honest. That's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, that's actually a pretty good outfit. I mean, like, this is a real, like, in terms of actually looking like a dog for a second that caught me, especially this one laying down, I thought it was a dog for a second. That's money well spent. Thanks to the, uh, the five good subs, Peter. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, that's a bit much. Uh, Halo fans complaining to Halo TV shows. Uh, terrible adaptation doesn't respect the source material. Resident Evil fans and anime fans. Okay, yeah. That's very true. You're an anti-wizard, Wayne. I'm a what? I'm a what? <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Okay, is that evidence submitted by Amber Curd proving Johnny Depp abused her? Let's read some of the uh, the takeaways here, and then I'll look at some of the stuff on Reddit, etc. Following the trial, people worry about the safety of the jury if they side with Amber, Amber herself, and the Amber team. No one is seriously worried on Amber or Depp's lawyer's safety. Think about whose side the violent mob is on. Tell me again she's crazy. I think this is a stupid thing to say because people could have said the exact same thing about the trial for Derek Chauvin or also the trial for Kyle Rittenhouse in the opposite way. And people said the exact same thing. I feel like this is not... This is a completely transparent argument that can be immediately disproven in seconds. And also, they said they were sealing the names for an entire year. So yeah, that that's yeah, it's a horrible take. I know, like it's just, it's so dumb. Like I don't know why, I don't know why people would use that at all. It's dumb to say. Yeah, it's dumb to say. And, and I think also not it. Not only is it dumb to say, but it's also easily disprovable. Uh, what about violent mob? Uh, where's the evidence of any violence? Oh, there's none. Yeah, uh, there, there's no evidence. Like you, you're not going to, you're not going to get evidence. That's not what it is. TMZ needs to be shut down for real. I will say that I don't agree with the idea that people that are very popular, like effectively celebrities, lose their right to privacy based off of something. Uh, like there's like an arbitrary condition that somebody loses their right to privacy. Uh, I really dislike that. I think that taking pictures outside somebody's house, waiting for them to go somewhere, and in general just harassing them, etc. And I don't, I, I don't think that's a good thing. I think that's a bad thing. And I think also it fosters a, it, it fosters a society that I think is fundamentally sick. Uh, I think that it's a sick society. I don't like it. And I wish that it was against the law. I think it should be against the law. And I think that the ability to allow people to uh, to do this kind of stuff is just really weird. And I think it's just bad for the entire environment. That's basically what it comes down to. TMZ is like Keemstar. Uh, what, what's this here? And uh, it's freedom of the press. We just heard it. I hate freedom of the press. In this circumstance, yes, I do. I don't think that it's freedom of the press. I think that it's taking advantage of people. And I think that it's just abuse. Uh, it's abuse of the press. I don't think that just because you're the press, you should have uh, the authority or the ability or the right to just go in and invade people's privacy. And uh, especially inside of their own homes, it's an invasion. And I think that people's privacy as an individual should pretty much be paramount to everything else. Because if you lose that, then you're just going to lose everything else to a larger thing, right? It's almost like there's always a bigger fish in terms of what people believe is the greater good. And that's why I don't like having that happen. So yes, I don't think there should be any sort of paparazzi type stuff like that at all. Uh, let's read what some people are thinking. Uh, I think this would be very interesting, right? Let's go back over and look. From your privacy is more important than press, than, press, than press freedom. Yeah, and I think also freedom of the press, like this is talking about like exposing Watergate, not exposing a celebrity for being fat, okay? Like, let's be honest. Uh, what, what's this here? The words cannot express how proud we are, how much we love you. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that's exactly what people think. If Johnny Depp was innocent, his team wouldn't have spent so much time trying to humanize him to the jury during closing arguments, going all the way back to his childhood. That's right. Yeah, that's right. If he wasn't innocent, people wouldn't have looked at him that way. Uh-huh, sure. 
Uh, and this is the kind of stuff that people say. And I think that you can tell that these kinds of people here at Trinity, thank you very much for the 100 gifted unity subs. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, they turn the replies off because these kinds of statements can only exist in a vacuum. Uh, these are not statements that can exist independently inside of a free market of ideas. Uh, these are only things that people can say on their own. And that's literally all there is to it. Give me one second here and I'm going to make sure I get everything ready and set up. Okay, good. I said to make sure I had something responded. Uh, go to Dumoy for more brain dead takes. I I'll look at some of these first, okay? I think we'll just stick on Twitter, etc. Uh, do you think these statements come from people that have been victims of abuse? Yeah, uh, I absolutely think so. Um, I, I think that these are people that have, they have their own story. And some of these people, maybe Reaper, Huntsman, thank you for five good subs. I appreciate that. I think this is what a lot of these people have happened. And I think that this is actually what happens with a lot of people that believe into a lot of conspiracy theories. Like if you go back and you listen to a lot of the QAnon stuff, right? And you see the interviews of these individual people. One of the things that's a commonality between a lot of the people that believe in like QAnon conspiracy stuff is that they are abandoned by society and they feel like society has ostracized them. So whenever you see a commonality like that, there's a reason for it. Missed 100? Holy fuck, did I really miss 100? No, there's no way I missed 100. Um, if I did, let me know who it was, and I'm going to make sure, because I'm trying to scroll down, I don't see it. Thank you guys so much for all the gifted subs. Like, I, I really do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you all so much. Swansea with the, uh, uh, with the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, five gifted community subs. Thank you so much. So, here's kind of what I'm saying, is that whenever you look at this, and you see these people who are saying things like this, these are people who are probably talking about a personal experience maybe they had, and that personal experience was not handled handled by the law. Thanks, Trinity. Oh, is it Trinity again? Holy shit, thank you twice. God damn, thank you so much. So the QAnon conspiracy people are people that fall into one category. And I think that because of that, it makes it easier to understand where those people are coming from and all of that stuff. Like, I remember I've talked to a few people like this, and these are people that are usually boomers that feel like society has moved past where they are from, and they feel disconnected from society in general. And that's what happens, and I think these people are a lot the same. These are people who have their own personal uh, cross to bear, and sometimes it's an authentic one. And they see somebody who they put themselves in that person's shoes, and their emotional attachment to the issue makes them not think about it and not look at it rationally. So they, they're not thinking about this from like a rational or a logical perspective. Uh, they're thinking about it from a perspective of, of themselves and how they felt in her situation. You see what I mean? You see what the difference is there? What's QAnon? That's just some bullshit from a couple of years ago. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, that's about it. I feel 100% disconnected from a rational society. Well, I think there's a lot of people that do. I think that also it's not a surprise that, like, for example, ISIS. Uh, who are the people that join ISIS? The people that join ISIS are primarily young men. Uh, almost every single time, it is young men. Uh, it's sometimes, obviously, you have older guys in there as well, but the majority are young men. And the reason why that happens is because those young guys, and also, look at the, uh, what do you call it, the, the usual profile of a school shooter or something like that, right? Usually these are, again, young men. Yes, you, of course, have some other, you know, people like that, but very rarely is it women. And uh, I think that many cases it is young men. And the way this happens in general is that uh, people, you have to look at why these things happen and what causes them to happen. Whether it's people like this standing with Amber Heard for this situation or people that join ISIS. Uh, I think that if you can find these commonalities you can you can start to dissect where the impulse is that causes them to take a certain action. Does that make sense? Yo, know, what's a commonality? A commonality is just something that people share. It's something that's common between other people. Yeah, it's, it's very simple. Nice uh, comparison. Yeah, I, well, it's the thing is like y you can't always make a comparison. I think the QAnon thing is a pretty good comparison, right? But I think that it, it's beyond that. It, I think that in general, that's the kind of stuff that happens. Yeah, there's nothing specific. And I think that, again, if, if, if you're going to, it's, again, I, I feel like a very low, uh, low intelligence thing is that whenever somebody makes a metaphor, you focus on the, uh, like, the importance of the different things that are being compared rather than what the idea is behind it. I, th I find that to be very low intelligence thinking. Uh, I, I don't like it at all. I find it to be stupid.
And uh, anyway, let's look at the rest of this stuff. Uh, we'll look at a few more of these, and then I'll look at the stuff on my Reddit, okay, guys? And uh, there's a societal expectation to be the man instead of any man that they want. I think that's a big issue with it. Absolutely, I think so. Uh, I Actually, I agree with you with that. And uh, what's this here? Uh, when the wise man points to the moon, the idiot looks at the finger. That's smart. I've never heard of that. Uh, what I thought about that makes me sad is Johnny can't win against someone who's obviously lying, uh, who's able to prove his own innocence. Johnny put up a very strong team of experts and witnesses. How can a casual person win if he can't win against Amber? It's simple. They can't. And, uh, that's the facts. That's why you hear all these stories about guys who have had their lives destroyed by accusations like this. And some of them rightfully so, because they actually did the bad stuff. But there are also some that have, did not. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, I love the logic of, if a robber enters my house, I have the right to shoot him dead. But if a woman regularly beaten her husband has to just take it, any retaliation is abuse? Nobody said that. Um, let's see here. Uh, I agree with both. Uh, you know, if, if somebody's hitting you and you hit them back, you, you they're wrong and you're not. If somebody breaks into your house and you shoot them, they're wrong and you're not. That's right. This is Texas, brother. And that's how we fucking do it. So let's look at this. Uh, be honest, I didn't consider myself much of a leftist in terms of politics. I do my best to educate myself on things based the decision I feel is correct, yet I stand with herd. Why? Because I care about victims, women, and justice. Yeah, you care about everything except for using capital letters. Uh, let's see this. Uh, I, I just, again, usually people that are, I know it sounds kind of like dumb to say this, but whenever somebody makes a stupid statement and it shows that they're illiterate, well, I assume that they probably aren't able to process the information because they're probably illiterate. Like, I, I, and this sounds like a bad thing to say and a mean thing to say. But yes, if somebody is illiterate, I immediately assume that they're stupid. That's right. There is a huge, huge exception if somebody has English as their second language. That's totally fucking different. But I'm talking about people who live here uh, they, they fucking went to school here. They know all that. If, if somebody, if English is their first language and they're illiterate, I am going to assume that they're stupid. That's right. And you know what? I think I'm right pretty much every fucking time. And, uh, okay, Jim Crow. Okay. Okay, that's a bit much. Dyslexia? Oh, really? Does dyslexia prevent you from being able to right-click the red squiggly and being able to fix things? Or remind yourself to be able to hold down shift after you put a dot on the screen? No, it fucking doesn't. I have dyslexia. I was tested for it. I don't want to hear other people's excuses for not being able to communicate properly. I don't care what your excuses are. And the odds are, what's to say that their dyslexia didn't cause them to misinterpret what they read in the wrong way? So if they're dyslexic, what do you, what, what do you think? What, so if they're so dyslexic, they literally can't properly communicate. What are the odds that whenever they read something, they can't figure that out either? Yeah, I, I don't want to fucking hear about it. You can't fucking type right. English is your first language. I'm going to assume you're a fucking moron. That's right. Cry about it. Yeah, there we go. What if you, what's this here? Oh, well, let, me, let me read a few of these. I know people might be mad about this one. Uh, what if you misinterpret what you, what if you misinterpret what you read? I think that that happens. Yeah, absolutely. Well, they misinterpret it. That's still stupid, right? Yeah, self-diagnosed, feel better about being an idiot? Yeah. Yeah, most people that say they have dyslexia are just stupid. Uh, you're right about that. What are the odds of even dyslexic? Yeah, exactly. Very good fucking point, man. And anyway, let's go back down over here. Either Camille Vasquez is going to hell or hell doesn't exist. There is no other option. She has been so fucking vile. Depths other attorneys haven't even stooped to the depths that she has. Did they all just leave with all the dirty work for her or is she that vile? No, that's for the wizard destroyer. That's his job. Let's see here. Uh, she has the right to tell her story. This woman is the epitome of survival. I believe you and I stand with you. Again, this, this is all, all it comes down to is uh, tell her story. That's right. Um, she can tell a story. The only thing that people are saying is that it's fiction. It's still a story. She told the story. It's just people have decided that it's fiction. There's plenty of nonfiction stories out there. I mean, Game of Thrones. I mean, you've got plenty, plenty of stories like uh, Lord of the Rings. Uh, millions of these, right? The Witcher. Yeah, it's no problem. Okay, let's go look at the other ones. Uh, Johnny Depp wants his life back. So my idea for him, stop wanting to bring global humiliation to your ex-wife by constantly re-traumatizing her in court. It's as simple as that. That's right, because when you defend yourself, you're traumatizing somebody else. 
These are the kinds of people that hit you and say that you hurt their hand. Uh, it's pathetic. Uh, what's the rest of this? Uh, trigger my rape. Either Miss Her was raped by a bother or she kind of person that would lie on the stand about rape. If she lied about that, what else would you lie about? That's right. See, it the the what upsets these people so much is the fact that people finally are not afraid to just say it. Yeah, people are just not afraid to say it. Yeah, that's exactly right. People think she lied about the whole thing. That's right. That's right. People are actually, yeah. Because these people, like, yeah, they, they thrive on, uh, uh, what's the word for it? Uh, they, they thrive on fear. Uh, they thrive on pressure. They thrive on being able to be the arbiters of things and being able to discredit you and, and, and kick you out of things and control you. They rely on control in general. And the moment that control slips, so does everything else. So does the whole narrative. And uh, that's it. Yeah, moral grandstanding. Exactly. And uh, yeah, they're not moral arbiters anymore. They didn't let the Wizard Destroyer talk to the jury, so they don't perish before him. I think that's a good thing. I feel like that guy, he has a role in, in that firm. And I think that he is the perfect guy for that role. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's exactly what, uh, he's exactly what they need. Uh, let's see the rest of this. Did you see Amber laughing in that video? She's not laughing in that. Depp in the courtroom right now is laughing and making snide remarks as this video is being played. Who does that? Boom. The look on Depp's face. Wow. Wow. That's right. So, so what's the logic behind this? That he thinks it's funny because he was upset in a video about him, but this somehow means that he's an abuser. Okay, there's another one. We ask you to hold Mr. Depp accountable for his actions. Stand up for domestic abuse victims everywhere who suffer in silence. Give Amber Heard a voice back. That's how you close. Oh my god, man. Again, replies disabled. Pussy boy like that can't even handle anybody disagreeing with him. How fucking pathetic. And the reason why is he knows he's going to get called out for it. I think domestic violence victims should be the ones that are most on Johnny Depp's side, actually. And the truth is that based off everything that people have sent me privately and publicly, uh, that's actually the case. Because you have a lot of women out there who have these cases happen. And then from now on, everybody's going to look at it with a little bit of doubt. Oh, is it like one of those Johnny Depp things? Ah, you know, like you can never be sure about this kind of stuff, right? I mean, as the evidence is like, yeah, but like it could be photoshopped, etc. You see what I'm saying? This is the worst thing. Amber Heard did the worst thing that she... She did more damage to the Me Too movement than any other person in history. She has done more damage to the movement of women coming forward and people coming forward and telling her story. She has done more to that than anybody else in the entire world. And it's not even remotely close. Yeah, it's a disgrace. Yeah, it's so sad that these people can't see it. It's kind of complicated, though, because historically women don't find justice in this situation. Um, historically, uh, men are convicted of crime uh, more than women. Uh, that's true. Uh, and uh, that's still the case. Uh, absolutely. And uh, whenever you look at historical things and statistics and things like this, uh, you dehumanize the individual. That's what happens. So I, I don't care about what historically happened. I care about what happened. I, I, you, you can't live your entire life in the context of what happened 100 years ago. It's impossible. You have to move forward. Yeah, it's simple. Everyone got fucking my favorite art? Yeah, a lot of people have, absolutely. I think women did get the shit into the stick in a lot of times in, uh, in, uh, in history. Absolutely, they did. Yeah, it's important to keep that in mind. Uh, it, it's saying that we shouldn't leave our life around. It doesn't mean that it didn't happen. It absolutely did fucking happen, and it was awful. Uh, yeah, it was terrible. I, I think that um, I think that women were the last to get the right to vote, right? Uh, I'm fairly certain about this. Because, like, obviously, like, you know, white men could vote, and then black men could vote, and then women could vote. Yeah. So, I mean, this is not like it's not true. It's not like it's not true. But now we're, we're here today, and this is a different world than it was back then. That's all there is to it. Let me go back over here. And all the lawyers are happy because they get paid and fame no matter what. That's very true, man. And uh, let's see here. And, uh, uh, you're wrong. Forcing killed his wife and dog, and he's still a free man with no consequences? Uh, I think you're thinking of Sam Hyde. That's actually not true. Uh, yeah, that's close, though. And, uh, let me go back. I'll read a few more of these. And, uh, we ask for evidence. The only thing they can pull is Adam Waldman's edited video that caused him to get kicked out of the Virginia court. And, uh, 
Wait, but they are- they had the police- they had the police video. What do you mean? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Uh, Camille's treatment of Amber during the trial was only made more vile and abhorrent due to the fact that now we should acknowledge Depp. Uh, now we know she acknowledges Depp as the abuser. The lack of ethics or morals is chilling. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Like, this is just so fucking funny. Public opinion turns as it eventually does, and she's outed for what she's done to victims. People should never let her rest and remind her forever nasty individual. That's right. So these people have already assumed, like, now they want to have, like, a lifelong vendetta against this person. Isn't that fucking amazing? Wow. Uh, what have you heard about jury responses? I haven't, uh... I haven't taken any time to do any research on that whatsoever because I find it all to be conjecture and based off of body language. And I also I, I also find it to be toxic to look at, let's say, the ages or genders or races of the people in the jury and then trying to judge off of that. I find that to be extremely toxic, and that's why I haven't covered it. Uh, it, it, it was, it's not that I don't care. It's that I've intentionally not covered it because I think that it will cause uh, shit stuff. Right, yeah, yeah, shitstorm, basically. Uh, ban appeal is gonna be great from this. I feel like not a lot of people got banned. Like, there were a handful of people that have gotten banned just for, like, popping off. But for the most part, I, I don't think that a lot of people have. I think they've been chilling and everything's been okay. And, uh, yeah, sure. Congrats on passing the bar exam. Thanks, man. I, I've, you know, I've uploaded 50 YouTube videos about this, so I pretty much have. Uh, I think that's the way it works, right? I'm pretty sure. And, uh, let's go back over here. I'm gonna look at this. Thanks for the unban. Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure, man. This guy DM'd me yesterday. And, uh, let's see here. He's an icon, a legend, and he's in the moment. But at the very end of this guy's testimony, I honestly felt like the next thing that he was gonna say is that he was running for fucking office, public office. Did anybody else get that same vibe, or was that just me? Yeah, was that just me, or it was, like, yeah, I, I really I felt like, yeah, like these platitudes and everything like this. Oh my god, man. For Congress? Yeah, yeah. Uh, absolutely. Let me see here. He's an icon? I don't know. I mean, I think these people are pretty bad at picking icons. But, again, these are the people that picked Amber Heard, too. So, what a surprise. Uh, no, my money can make up the emotional psychological damage. Amber lived with the rest of her life. I do wish she took the $30 million she was entitled to in the divorce, though. No. Yep, uh, she probably should have. Yep, exactly. And uh, maybe then uh, she would have just shut the fuck up and left him alone. I can guarantee you, if you asked Johnny, what would you rather have? This or $30 million? He'd say, please, I will pay $60 million. Get this woman out of my fucking life. You know, like, let's let's remove this and it's not gonna happen. Yeah, easy choice, man. Exactly. I think anybody would feel that way, honestly. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, Amber looked close to tears a few times. All I can see is Depp's importance are online laughing, along with Depp and Camille. There's a severe mismatch between what's actually happening and resulting human uh, reaction. It's extremely disturbing. That's right. You know what's disturbing to these people more than anything? Is that they can't control the population and discourse with their emotions. That's what it is. Is these are people who are unhappy and sad that they no longer have a complete, uh, you know, stranglehold on everything based off of how they feel about it. You know, it's like, yeah, people don't give a fuck about how you feel and it doesn't matter. It's <laughs> about it. Let's go down to the next one. And uh, let's see here. Uh, following a trial, uh, people worry about the safety of the jury. Oh, I already saw that one, didn't I? Yeah, I think I did. Let's scroll up and look at like maybe five or six more. And uh, then I want to uh, look at some of the stuff on Reddit. I love reading these comments because I feel like this is one of the most interesting things is actually seeing the opinions of people who uh, who disagree with you. Uh, invite the Escarlo girl on your Twitter. Uh, she's been hella vouching for Amber. Why the fuck would I want to do that? What, just so I can argue with somebody and have them call me a bunch of fucking names? Like, it, it, yeah, I don't want to fucking do that. Why? Like, I, anybody who I, like, the as, the odds are that if I bring somebody like that on, they're going to be fucking unhinged. Why? Well, because they're supporting somebody who's unhinged, right? It's like, oh, we should bring on a Charles Manson supporter. No? Why? Because they're fucking crazy. I'm not going to do it. No shot. Content, brother? I think that it is content, you're right, but I feel like it would be... Ah, uh, it's just... It, I, I don't really want to do that because I feel like what's going to end up happening... Like, here's what I know is going to happen, right? Is that... And th th this is true. If I bring somebody like that on, that person is going to get harassed like fucking crazy. 
Like, there'll be fucking thousands of people messaging them. And those people, a lot of those people will be banned. They'll be banned in my chat. But they will still be messaging uh, them and, like, saying this bad stuff. And it's just something that I don't want to deal with, right? And especially with something that's so emotionally charged. Uh, that's why I said it's different from, like, let's say the React thing, right? It's something I'd be much more willing to discuss because people don't have a uh, as much of an emotional attachment to it. Uh, I don't like dealing with people that are emotional, to be honest with you. I find it to be very exhausting and annoying. And so let's see here. And uh, let's find the rest of this. I find it very convenient. The first time a man comes forward as a victim, everyone instantly believes him. But it took a swarm of women and a whole movement, Me Too, to start giving them the benefit of the doubt. Yet that still resulted in nothing. Wow. Terry Crews? Who's that? Yeah, I, does anybody know who that is? It's the first- yeah, it's the first time. Wow, that's crazy, huh? It's just so- so fucking stupid, man. Absolutely so fucking stupid. Yeah, Will Smith? I don't know about Will Smith, Brendan Fraser. I don't know about all those different examples, but I know for Terry Crews it certainly happened too. I think a lot of people, uh, have seen the hypocrisy and that's why, uh, that's why they feel that way. And, uh, let's see here. Amber represents many of us. That's why the case feels close. It's almost like we're all on trial. The victim blaming the mockery accusation of lying. So many of us have been there. And this is exactly what I'm saying. It, it is people like this. This is exactly what it is. Is people that are not speaking about the case. They're not speaking about the actual situation. They're speaking about their own personal experiences. And then putting themselves in her shoes and defending her as if they're defending themselves. That's what they're doing. It's got nothing to do with the case. It's got to do with their own unresolved trauma. And that is different. That, yeah, it's projecting. It's, they're literally projecting. Exactly. And uh, remember the time Camille said Johnny's views was just dark humor? Yeah. Yeah, I say bad shit like that all the time. Like, I, I do. Like, not really like that, but I say other stuff that's probably worse in different contexts. Yeah, I say stuff like that constantly. Yeah, 100%. And I'm not sorry. I'm going to keep doing it. That's about it. Okay, let's watch that video and see what that is, okay? Give me one second and see if I can pull it up right now. Okay, uh, this is a video some person made about me. Uh, it's a short video, too. The modern day philosopher, Asmongold. I only started playing WoW in 2020 during the, the modern day philosopher, Asmongold. Wow. Nothing says philosophy like that, huh? Yeah, guys. I mean, that's the... That that's the real that's the real good stuff that cuts deep and really asks the questions that you know the world needs to know, right? Oh, absolutely. Good. I only started playing WoW in 2020 during the pandemic. I got bored, so yeah, what else should I do? Some say that I started playing WoW at the worst time ever during the Battle for Azeroth. Still, I kept playing until Shadowlands, and compared to that, Battle for Azeroth was actually a masterpiece. Compared to Shadowlands. Anyway, whenever I start playing a new game and got really into it, I started watching yeah. also YouTube videos and streamers. So whenever I watch WoW streams, this wow. guy named Asmongold was the most viewed streamer. He also yeah. had a different approach to streaming. He was more like a live show, there was a lot of interaction with the chat, he was telling a story and guiding the viewers in a direction. And because of his storytelling skills, I got hooked. Having somebody that'll just shut the fuck up and I started watching his streams a lot. Even if 60% of the time I was not even listening to him, I just I like how like I'm just literally just like randomly talking about something that has nothing to do with it. I'm off on like fucking the seventh level of tangent, doing Scarlet Monastery for the 30th time to level my character up. This is just totally normal behavior. Yep, I, I oh all right, let's just him as on. a background noise. Whenever I discover a new creator, the first mm -hmm. thing that I do is to check for how long he's been yep. with this for. And my man was grinding for more than Fucking 10 long. years. And yep. over those years, he improved his storytelling skills and content a lot. That job thing. Last in a transmog competition. Yeah, I, 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 my, my content, uh, like, I've definitely tried to spend more time saying things and doing things in a way that's more entertaining. I mean... Fuck yeah, of course I have. I mean, it kind of goes without even saying, but yeah, 100 fucking percent. I thought to myself, maybe today? I should never go back to NA. But... These big streamers or YouTubers all have like a different persona while they're on camera. Yeah. They put on this high energetic persona that makes the viewers stay for a longer period of time yep. and have them engage with their stream. Of and course. based on that, you know if a streamer is someone that takes this more seriously or if they're just doing it as a hobby. Anyway, what made Asmongor stand out for me was the thing that he was saying while not in character. 
Once in a while, this man dropped some real gems on his viewers. Real Thanks. life tips that many people never got. You guys act like you have no control over your life. I've said this. Yeah, like, yeah. The cards are just already set for you. That That's me. Like, you just, like, True. you know, you can only do this little small thing in your True. life. And you have no control over your own destiny. True. And one of his most successful YouTube videos so was true. about this exact topic. Why do I live a simple or why do I live a humble life? Everybody yeah. has this idea of how a millionaire should look like. They need to wear designer clothes, drive Lambos and be surrounded uh -huh. by dirty models while doing those things on a yacht. You know what? Yeah, that's expensive. That's why I don't like doing it. It's expensive and it's a pain in the ass. Like, it sounds really cool. Like, oh, yeah, this is what I want to, this is what I want to do, right? But it's just not, it's not going to be there. Verdict? Why, why are people doing verdict? Why are people saying that? Are they going to, are they going to give the verdict out? I feel like there'd be a million people saying that they're going to give the verdict out. Why are people saying that? Yeah, wait a second. Why, why are they saying that? Yeah, just just a second. I want to figure this out. Because if 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 it's not true, I'm gonna have my mods go back and retroactively ban every single person that said it. Oh. Yep. Oh my God. I do it for fun. Yeah. Uh, there we go. All right. Let's see. Here we go. Yep. Just go back. Ban them all. Or where everybody ban knows them all. to be rich, live a luxurious life, and be famous. As Mongo reminded people that money is not everything. I didn't really give a shit mm -hmm. about that stuff anymore. I didn't care what my shirt said on them. I didn't care what uh, car my mom drove. Yeah, this. yeah. These things were just completely meaningless to me. You can have all the money in the world and be the most famous person alive. But if you don't keep your friends and family close, you have nothing at the end of the day. I live in an Eastern mm -hmm. European country, so things are different here. You're expected to live with your family until you want to get married and settle down with that yep. significant other. But it seems like in the West, things are a little bit different. I know many people that by the time they're 18, they move out to really experience life and be mature. At least like that's the popular belief. Everybody's focused on making a career, making money, living life. One of the real reasons why I never wanted to move out whenever I was like 18 is because my mom would make me food sometimes and I, I would have to like, it, it, that was good whenever she'd make me food. That was pretty much one of the big reasons why I was good about it. Yeah, absolutely and stuff like that. The only issue is that you forgot about the mm -hmm. most important people in your life, your family. Also, you waste a lot of money and get into debt, but yeah, that's just for another story. You move out because that's the popular belief, and maybe you see your parents like four or five times per year. The that's only sad. people in this life that care more about you than anyone else. Well, this mm -hmm. is one of the things that really made me respect Asmon Gold so much. He was living with his mother, he had millions, he was yep. a well-known celebrity in his niche. He could have lived this luxury lifestyle that became the new standard for millionaires, but still he chose Jesus to take care of Christ. his mother and live a simple life, which brings you more joy than any material thing or plastic people that might surround you. Bro, she actually, like, let me tell you guys something. Don't need any of this. Like, she straight up spent, it took her 50 days slash played to get to level 60. And by the time Burning, Cru Burning Crusade came out, she had almost like a hundred more days slash played than I did. Like, I, like, she was farming that fucking game more than me. It took me until like Cataclysm or Miss of Pandaria or Wad to catch up with her. It was ridiculous. She was happy. grinding. We buy yeah. things just to flex them to others most of the time. You dream about driving a Lambo past someone who made you angry in high school. You dream about the moment yeah. when you have like $1 million in your bank account, thinking that yeah. you will be happy then. No material Triple thing is. will make you happier. No amount of money will make you happy. But don't get me wrong, money is good. It makes your life easier, but it doesn't really solve all of your problems. If you still Money don't solves a lot of people's problems. And I think that you can tell people that money will solve their problems until they make up to like, a, it's like $120,000 a year. Like money is correlated. More money is correlated with increased happiness uh, at a pretty strong ratio correlation until like 100, 100 to like $150,000 a year. Like, that's absolutely true, but the difference between, like, seven hundred and eight hundred thousand dollars a year is, is like, it, it's not the same thing. Let me check out the story of Notch, the creator of Minecraft. Mm -hmm. The man who became a billionaire with a B, had mansions yeah. and celebrities He's around got a lot him, of money. threw the biggest parties, Whole lot of all money. of the supercars that your mind can imagine, and all of it's that for returns, nothing. Yeah.
because deep down he was miserable, no one really cared about him and all of his friends left him. Now you tell me, who do you think is happier deep down, a guy that has a decent amount of money and is mm -hmm. surrounded by his friends and family or a billionaire who is alone, has no one around to share his money with and all of his closest friends left him. As Mongol even if you might not see it at first, it's a great role model to have especially if you're young. I am not. I am not a good role model. I'll say this right now. absolutely fucking lutely not. I am a fiend, a degenerate, an animal of fucking just complete, like, I don't even know what the word is for it. I am a degenerate. There are some things you should never, never make people your role models. Make actions your role models and ideals that people embody your role models. So, like, you can look at somebody's actions and be like, wow, this person's really brave for doing this. But don't look at every single thing that this person does and say, wow, this is such a good thing. Like, for example, like, Gandhi was a huge racist. People think Martin Luther King cheated on his wife or something, right? There are all, a lot of people that have great positive legacies in history, have other things that they did that were bad. And it doesn't make what they did any less good. Just think about the good things that those people did and focus on that. Had of not taking a shower. Oh yeah, that's whenever I went a whole month without taking a shower. He got to where he is because of his hard work, perseverance, and constant improvement. He was not promoted by some huge influencer and popped out no. of nowhere. He was grinding for the past 12 years. He became a millionaire by doing the things that he loved. He continues doing them to this day while shattering the idea of how a millionaire should act or look. He's still playing games, he's still having fun, and still making shitloads of money. Well, that's true, but not playing games, at least. Uh, that part's fake. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't really think that's necessarily it. Uh, for me in general, I just kind of do what I want to do and that's about it. Like I've always made videos and like streamed and like talked about stuff, etc. That's why I have like so many super old videos. And uh, this is just, you know, another one of those. Look how old this, look how old this fucking video is. Uh, I've got my old, uh, my old donation goal thing. I, I, I got $3,000 that day. That was a good fucking day. Look at that. I got two thousand dollars, dude. This is second. Like wow. what are you talking about? But most importantly Wait a second. Of money. Yeah, I got two thousand dollars, dude. This is second. Like what are you talking about? But most importantly, he takes care of his close yeah. ones, which is what a real man should do. Aw yeah, that's whenever Cody gave me the picture. He created OTK to do the I things did. that he loves together with his closest friends. He took care of his mom and his family. Yeah. And he's still involving his childhood buddies in his streams and even promoting their channels all for free. Sure. Asmon Gold is everything that Hollywood and mainstream celebrities are not. While Aww. mainstream celebrities will do anything to get more clout, more money, more collaborations, Asmon Gold kept on doing the things that he enjoyed and loved while promoting a lifestyle filled with values that has been forgotten in a world filled with plastic people and principles. Of course, I would love for him I, to- I think that uh, a, a lot of times, like, I, I do things that, like, will help my channel a lot, right? I mean, of course, right? I'll follow, you know, trends and do stuff like that, too. Uh, but there, I don't follow every trend and I don't do every single little thing, right? I, I think, like, for example, I never really did the GTA RP thing. McConnell was fucking pissed about that. And uh, there were a few other things I didn't really do. Yeah, this is back whenever, yeah, we went out and we did, uh, we worked out together and everything. It was a really good time. And uh, it was, it was a, it was a different time back then. I'll say that for sure. Yeah be more healthy and actually go to the gym and promote a healthier lifestyle mm -hmm. as mongol is still a fresh breath of air in the community and a great model for young men if you listen carefully to what he says between the lines we keep forgetting about the essential things in life and we only focus on the things that we don't have like money fame relationships yeah so i can go on forever be more like as mongol and keep in mind that life is short do what you love and work hard and keep your friends and family close do not buy stupid things just to impress other people. Don't do stupid things to prove stupid people wrong. And this is kind of all for today's That's a really video. Good point. I hope this video provides like some that. value to you. And as always, do more, talk less. I'm Raz. Cheers. That was good. Short video, quick, you know, easy, right to the point. I thought that was nice. Yeah, I, I liked it. Yeah, there fine. we fucking go. Let me go back over here. I want to go ahead and uh, I'll link it to you guys. Yeah, this is a. Uh, this is a really, really high quality picture right here. I, I really, really like this one. And uh, do more, talk less. Yeah, that's a good way to say it, isn't it? Absolutely. So I want to say, like, guys, um, this has been crazy. I, I really has been. Uh, I, I didn't expect to see so many people that were just looking for, you know, like this kind of an opinion on things. Uh, I, I really, I really never ex expected that. That's 
absolutely insane. So thank you guys all so much. Uh, I, I fucking appreciate it a lot because like, like I've wanted to cover like more news and I talk about more stuff like this for a long time. I have, I've, ma I've made that very clear and uh, it, it feels great. It does to, to have uh, such success that we've had with doing this and have so many people uh, enjoying the commentary and uh, really uh, ha having fun with it. So I, I think that's great. And I look forward to doing more stuff like this in the future. Yeah, our news anchor, Sir Bogut, thank you for 20 gifted subs. As I said, um, X Tech uh, eradicate you. Thank you, thank you guys. Holy fucking shit! Thank you guys. So Jesus. Yeah, these guys just don't stop. Oh my god. Wow. People are tired of mainstream media. People are tired of the emperor's new clothes. That's what they're tired of. They're tired of seeing it. They're tired of looking at it. They're tired about hearing it, and they're tired of having it in their life. And they're tired of being told that it's not there. That's what it is. That's what it fundamentally is. People are tired of being told that they can't see what's right in front of their fucking face. And and I think that's it. And they're tired of being tired of it. Exactly. And I think that's why this happens. That's why the public adopted Johnny Depp as a, as, as a person to be the champion for this kind of stuff. Uh, an obviously imperfect actor. Um, a person who has had multiple problems, uh, issues, uh, you know, dramas, controversies, you know, here and there along the way. But they look at him, your dad, o o w oh shit, thank you very much, god damn. Thank you very much, god da fucking damn, thank that's you so much. Great. A hun that's a hundy, that's a one hundy, god damn, thank you so much, I fucking appreciate that guys, thank you all, thank you all so much. Yeah, that's why people don't, yeah, that's why the media wanted people like me to not comment on it. Is because they know that, uh, that, as I said, I, I think that the best thing is to have a free exchange of ideas, right? The best thing is to be able to talk about ideas and to be able to express them and then have, uh, you know, those ideas be, you know, responded to in, in, a, in a fair way, right? Obviously, I'm not saying every single opinion that people have is legitimate. But what I am saying is that I think that it's a good fundamental thing. Matavor with 100. Holy fuck, dude. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you all so much. I, I really, really, really do appreciate it. Holy fuck. That's a lot. Give me glow. All right. All right. Calm down. Twitch is a great platform. Opinion one. We can chat back with our opinions. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's why people like talking about this stuff. That's why people like watching commentary. Uh, it's not just like mine. It's like any streamers, right? Whether you're watching me, XQC, uh, Pokimane, uh, Ludwig. People want to hear an opinion that they feel is authentic. And I think that's something that a lot of people have lost over the years because things have become too commercialized. Things have been turned... Uh, again? Bro, thank you so much, Dan. God damn, bro again another one. Oh my god so yeah i think that's what it is authentic well I, i've always said before right every twitch stream and everything that you do to a certain degree is a level of performance right you're acting a certain way you're trying to have a certain kind of fun you're trying to put on a certain kind of show absolutely i do the same thing right but i think that at the end of the day people can expect that you're getting generally what you're looking for you know and i think that's why that's why there's so much excitement about it. That's why people are so interested. Notorious, thank you so much for the 25 gifted subs. I appreciate that. So yes, I will continue to do this. Uh, and to the extent that the mainstream media and other more mainstream publications are critical of it, I will continue to do it even more. Because I think that the reason for that is not because of any sort of credential that uh, I may or may not have, that I think many other people do not have either, uh, is... Uh, the fact that they're doing it because they're losing and they know they're losing and that's why they're struggling and they're in their death throes of their influence trying to defend an obvious fucking abuser. That's what it is. And uh, it, it's, it, it checks sub count, it's like 41k. Yeah, it's 41k. And uh, what, what's this here? How did I dodge every single gifted sub, man? What the fuck? Sorry, dude. That's the way it hey, goes. It's like um, gift maker with the 20 gifted subs. Thank you so much. You, say what? You say 41,000? 41, 41,000, yes. 41,000. Yeah, 41, subs. Yep, that's right. What do you want, a new computer? No, I'm just saying that's a lot of subs for one man. Yeah, it is. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, all right. I, I agree. It's, it's a lot. It's a good, a good amount of subs. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Uh, first day of the trial alone, it was so boring as hell. Well, the thing is, like, a lot of people... 
I, I think that like online, uh, online, there's a lot of people out there that want to, like, they, they don't have time to keep up with everything. And so they watch news shows and they watch, uh, whether they're watching, uh, me, whether they're watching Hassan, whether they're watching Philip DeFranco, whether they're watching, uh, the Young Turks, you know, they're looking for some place on the internet that they can watch and keep up with. And, uh, you know, like, get their idea on what's going on. I think that's what it is. Your dad, 300! Holy shit, that's a lot. Nice. God <laughs> fucking damn. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Another one. Oh, I'm not talking about whether you agree with them or not. I'm just talking about that these are different online news sources that people have. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to say that everything that these people say is right. And I'm not going to say everything that they say is not wrong, is wrong either. Uh, I, I don't think so either. So, yes, what I'm trying to get at here is that people are looking for authenticity. They are looking for a narrative that exists independently of what uh, companies and media conglomerates and the political elite class wants you to hear. I think that's fundamentally what it is. And so that's why you see so many people flocking to streams and content about this and why you see such a strong, uh, what's the word for this? Uh, such a strong like a uh, pushback, I guess you could say. It's easy enough. Uh, a pushback against the uh, mainstream narratives about not just this, but everything. Uh, you, you see people pushing back on the mainstream narrative about uh, almost everything. And I, I think that's a great thing. I, I really do. And uh, yeah, absolutely. And, uh, Refresh and Take, I already talked about giving, uh, what's this here? Part of money away? I give a lot of money away. I, I fucking do. Uh, absolutely. This shit's usually boring, but I'm looking for someone like you to spice it up. There it is, man. Yeah, it's just that fucking simple. Mainstream narrative, na narrative, weird champ. Yeah, exactly. Spit with the 10 tier 2 subs. I don't think the mainstream media gets it wrong every time. I think that's silly to say, right? It's, it's, it's just as silly to say the mainstream media gets it wrong every time as it is to say that they get it right every time. I, I think both of these are not true. Uh, but I think that people have a distrust for it, and that's the biggest factor. And uh, unmute the stream. There's nothing new. Uh, there's nothing new about this. This is all the old stuff, and uh, this is all things that we've already looked at before. Uh, they're just, it says literally earlier testimony. You see that? And uh, let me see this. Uh, what's this here? Get OTK to help you out with an entertainment news show. Um, I don't, to be honest with you, I, all I need is somebody to send me articles. Like, send me articles, send me topics, I'll talk about them. Uh, it, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, like, I don't need like a whole fucking. I don't need an industry to do this. Just send me something on Reddit, post it, and if it gets upvoted, I'll look at it. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, it's not that complicated. Uh, absolutely not. And uh, when will there be a verdict? I, I don't know. I I'm assuming that we're going to get a verdict in the middle of next week. Uh, if I had to guess, I think that's basically what it comes down to. Uh, it's how Alex Jones started. Well, I know that. Uh, Alex Jones came from Austin, and I live in Austin. And so uh, my mom was a huge fan of Alex Jones. And so I was listening to what Alex Jones had to say in, like, 1995. It would also really annoy me because we'd have to watch that and not Ed, Ed, and Eddie. You know, or something like that. It was uh, it was quite a time. I would always complain about it, man. And uh, mainstream media being journalists have to adhere to higher standard. They've been failing to do so for a long time. Well, I think so. I think that most people believe that. Yeah, I, I absolutely think so. And I, I think that divide will only grow larger uh, as the... And there's also, like, a, a certain level of, like, underpinning of, like, kind of class warfare with this, too. Uh, Manuv Gap with the five good subs, I appreciate that. And I, I think that people view streamers to be, like... Let me just tell you. You are a lot closer to me than I am to Rupert Murdoch. A homeless, like, I, I am farther away from him than, like, a homeless person is that, that's living in, like, a, a fucking a, under a bridge. Like, I'm gonna be honest. Like, this guy, uh, you know, these guys are just massively way more powerful than, than I am for now. Well, I mean, Rupert Murdoch is fucking massive, right? I mean, that's, uh, that's just a fact. Uh, lucky war at the five good subs. I appreciate it. And, and I think that in general, uh, you know, people view streamers as being much more uh, like them than, let's say, uh, you know, some billionaire or something like that. Does that make sense? And uh, what's the difference in a million and a billion? Uh, a thousand millions. Uh, about that many. A lot. And uh, do you like to take on things? Being stationed overseas. I have multiple uh, videos of you. I appreciate it. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate it a lot. Yeah, thank you so much. And uh, that's why I'm watching a stream and not reading the BBC. I mean, there you go. And I think that's going to become more and more the case. 
because I, I don't think that it's going to be that hard to uh, to be able to like cover stuff and talk about stuff like this. And uh, the more time I give to it, the more it's going to improve. I think that's it. And uh, what's this here? Twisted Squid with the uh, five good subs and uh, Canadian with the uh, the uh, 10 gift subs. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And they, yeah, it's actually 999 million. Well, I don't know. All I'm really saying is that I think that people view streamers as being a more authentic and closer to them uh, type of feedback than like, let's say these like large uh, elite companies, because they feel like they're like they're two different classes of people and people, I would say, view uh, streaming as being the uh, the more close thing to their own stuff. Right. And uh, witness tier list, that'd be funny. Uh, maybe I'll do a witness tier list maybe tomorrow or something like that. I don't want to do it quite yet, though. And uh, both classes chose wrong party. And uh, what's this here at Rube Social Sport? Oh, 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 I get it. You're talking about politics. Okay. Uh, never mind. Uh, Gay Boy Oswald, thanks for the 10 gifted subs, man. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, sorry. I, I was I was reading it. I was a little bit confused. Like, what is this? What's going on? But yeah, that's about it. Get the TMZ dude on your stream. Um, I, I don't know if he'd really want to talk about it, to be honest with you. And if I were him, I wouldn't want to come on my stream. Because TMZ could use something that he says to sue him, right? So I, it's like if I were him, I wouldn't do that. And like, I wouldn't want to put somebody in that position either. It's like you have to look at, yeah, bad idea legally. It's just the unfortunate reality is that like this kind of stupid shit can happen. And that's all there is to it. And uh, let's go back over here. And uh, you should look at uh, Impon Navy, highest list leader, uh, told sailors working George Washington, or Spanish in speech about a fellow sailors committing suicide. I don't know about that. That's something that happened a long time ago. I care about what's happening now. 